So let's say that you're finished with Canvas for right now, and so you want to go ahead and click your little hook, and you're gonna see your hook on the bottom left and right hand side of your clear touch board, and you have the option to close app. So keep in mind that if you close that Canvas app, then it does not save your work for you automatically. So only click close app if you're sure that number one, your work is saved if you want your work to be saved, or number two, you don't need to save that work in Canvas. So let's say that you're working in Snowflake or you're working in Canvas, but you need a quick way to get back to your desktop because maybe there's something on your desktop that you need to show your students. So a super quick and easy way that I want you to take note of is again, if you come back to your hook, you're gonna see this button called desktop. So if you click desktop, notice how it takes me right back to my desktop on my PC side. So then I can navigate wherever I need to within my desktop area, but Snowflake is still running in the background. So you'll see your Snowflake icon right back here in the bottom of your screen. So if I need to jump back to Snowflake, I can click on my hook and click back. And that takes me right back to my work. So I do recommend if you're going to be working in Snowflake at any point during the day, go ahead and open it up first thing in the morning because it may take a minute or two to load on your computer. And then just know how to toggle back and forth between desktop so that those two applications are there, ready to open and ready to use, and you don't have to worry about wait time with your students. So we're gonna pop back over to Snowflake so that I can show you some of the other great tools that you can use when you're using Snowflake located within that hook area. So to get back to Snowflake, remember I'm going to click my hook here in the middle and click the word back. And so I'm gonna go ahead and come out of Canvas by clicking my hook and clicking close app so that you can see that these hook tools are available with any of these applications within Snowflake. So if you click on your hook again, you're going to see that you do have the option to mute the sound coming out of your board. You do have additional quick annotation tools that will show here if you need them, but know that your Android quick annotation tools are still available to you also. You have the option to split your board into zones, and I think you guys are really gonna like the zones feature. So if you click on zones, you'll see that right now, my clear touch board is just located within one zone. But watch what happens if I switch it to the two zones. I might be able to open Canvas on one side, and maybe I wanna go ahead and open up a browser on the right side. so that that way there's two separate entities. Or I could open up Canvas on both sides and I can have multiple students working on the same thing at one time, but in their own defined space. So Zones is going to be a great feature for you. You do have more options with Zones. You could switch it to four. And then unless you have a tabletop clear touch board, um, you're not gonna use this one on the end. The one on the end is only for if you have one of the table touch flat clear touch boards. But if you want the four, you'll use this one that's blank right here. You do have additional zone options by clicking on the plus, which gives you some of those options um, for splitting into two different ways or by splitting into three different zones. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my home screen here. And you're gonna see that here in my hook, you have the option to rotate. If you needed to rotate your page, there's that desktop option, which is great to get us back to our desktop quickly and easily. And I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Canvas so that you can see this timer feature. So this timer is a great feature that you can pull up in Snowflake. I'm gonna do a five second little timer there. I love that green to yellow to red bar. And I also love that that timer is not super obnoxious 
but it's loud enough to be a good attention getter for my students. You have the option to record within Snowflake if you needed to create a recording of something that you're working on in Snowflake for students, then you can do that. The spotlight tool is a great attention grabber. I can put a spotlight, I can adjust the spotlight, but it's a great way to draw your students' attention to a small specific area. You also have the feature of a color overlay. So if you have students who use color overlays from their IEPs or if it helps them out, then they can switch that and they can adjust how strong that color overlay is, or if they don't need it, they can just take it right back off. And then it does default on your clear touch boards to the elementary view. But if you are a middle school or a high school teacher, you would probably want to switch that over to secondary. So I'm gonna switch it from elementary and then switch it to secondary which you'll see that background is going to look a little bit different. And so I like how ClearTouch has um, made those backgrounds different so you know if you're on the elementary side, which is blue, or if you're on the secondary side, which has those trees on there. If you come to your hook and click Exit Snowflake, then know that that is going to completely shut down Snowflake and so then you're going to have that loading time whenever you try to turn Snowflake back on. So just keep that in mind. <laughs>